It is a rainy day here in Montclair, California. And today we're doing something we've been wanting to do for quite some time, and that's visit Art's Sideshow, which is basically a museum, if you will, filled with monsters and masks and all things spooky and strange. Like this guy right here. <laughs> Welcome to Art's Sideshow. <laughs> You ready, baby girl? Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stay? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. Baby girl, come here, check this out. I found an old ticket booth. Well, in all actuality, it belongs to this guy right here, the Crypt Keeper, which in turn belongs to Art Sideshow. Now, in order to get into the Sideshow, it's going to cost you $25 for an adult and $15 for a kid. Now, trust me when I tell you this, it's worth it. We've seen these guys at different conventions here in Southern California, and every single time, they go above and beyond. We got tickets. You ready? Let's do this. The first room that we come to is a whole bunch of creepy clowns. Oh, this is something else. Now, typically we don't like clowns here at the Grim Life Collective, but this is put together really nicely. And here's the thing, baby ghoul. Where are the animatronics? <laughs> And then he hides behind his balloon. Right? Like it never happened. The creepy music adds a little extra touch to it. And of course, Jessica's hair and your dance. Oh, this is just perfect. This is a lot of fun. And we're just getting started. They even have killer clowns from outer space here. Now, Jessica. <laughs> you wouldn't make a good killer clown, that's for sure. And of course, some say this is the scariest part of this whole place. A public phone. <laughs> After the spooky, creepy clowns, it looks like we're entering the world of Beetlejuice. 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 That looks so good. The eyes are freaking me out. Right? I mean, I know it's a, a character from a Tim Burton movie, but it's looking pretty realistic, isn't it, he? It looks like the actual prop from the movie. I honestly don't know if this character had a name in the movie, but I think we all know him as Shrunken Head Guy. And it's nice to see that you don't have a shrunken head, baby ghoul. <laughs> And then behind you, you got Beetlejuice himself. I mean, look at this. I mean, Hello, basically, sir. you're just walking through the world. Now, watch out, baby girl. You got the snake up there. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. He's actually my favorite. Right? Yeah. Looks like we got a little section for House of a Thousand Corpses. We got Sid Haig, Bill Mosley. Man, I've always loved this facade. And then right over here, now, Baby Gold, there's one character here that really got you excited. Would you tell us a little bit about him? What, this guy right here? Oh, yeah. That guy right there? That guy right here. Who is this? It's Michael Jackson from Thriller as a werewolf at the end. And then... I, I can't get over it. I'm sorry. I'm fangirling a little bit over uh, an animatronic. And you say all this stuff, and Michael Myers is right behind you, almost like, wait a second, like... Oh, you mean I'm not your favorite? Look, Michael, I love you. You are timeless, but you never see this character anywhere. The fact that it's here gives them major points. The scenes that they have built here are pretty freaking phenomenal. I mean, look at this. Jeez oh, Louise. Oh 
man, check out Freddy Krueger. I will say this, Art Sideshow, all of their, their props, their mannequins, their monsters, they all look pretty realistic. It's the eyes. Right? The eyes are really getting to me, but I never thought I'd actually be freaked out by Ghostface standing behind you because he looks the most real and I keep expecting him to run at me and it's it's got me on edge. On to the next room. Can't get away from her. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I have to point out one more time, you never see people paying homage to these characters. This is the ferryman from Annabelle. And I actually met the character actor who played him at Monster Palooza last year and lost my mind. I geeked out, I totally did. You know how we feel about religious horror here at the Grim Life Collective. And I'm telling you what, This place got us on our toes. These look so real, it's really creepy. The power of Grimm compels you. The power of Grimm compels you. The power of Grimm compels you. Did it work? <laughs> no, I'm still here. Oh, bye. <laughs> this is awesome. This is one heck of a, an exorcist setup. I mean, even with Reagan here, oh my gosh. I think this last room has to be our favorite. First up, it looks like we got Poltergeist here. And hey, what were you saying about Kane, baby ghoul? Freaks me out. I think he pretty much freaks everybody out. Then right behind you, we have The Shining. You can pretty much stand in the hallway. You can stand actually with your face in the red room door. And then to the right of Shelley Duvall, you have room 237. I love that they put you right in the scenes. Yeah. Now, baby girl, this is another photo opportunity, so you can actually run around the side and stick your head through the door. Your turn. Me do it? All yeah. right, I'll do it. Look at this. Through the wall. Here's Grim. But the real crown jewel of this place is what's behind this plexiglass window. Well, technically it's a room from Silence of the Lambs. I think this has to be the king of selfie stations or like photo opportunities. You can actually walk inside the cell of Hannibal Lecter. So they have a cot where you can, if you want to, you can take a nap. There's a kimono, you can put it on, you can get your tuck on. Please do not take your clothes off here at Earth Sideshow, but you can kind of reenact it. Over here, there's a toilet, do not use it. There's a sink, again, do not use it. I feel like I have to tell people this. You got Hannibal Lecter over there in the corner, and then right over here is a little desk. Oh, it says something. Oh, and check this out. If you want to, if you're visiting here with family and your brother or sister is a uh, not behaving nicely, you can wear this and get a really cool photo. Now what's it say, baby girl? This is Art Sideshow. Oh man, that's just creepy. It's very creepy. I'm gonna put that back. Now just a quick heads up. Us walking through here with the camera, we had all the sounds turned off, but when you walk through these different sets, these different dioramas, the photo stations, they play music from the film. So it really gives you this sense that you are in the actual movie itself. Especially, well, you gotta come here, you gotta check it out. I'm not gonna give too much away. I feel like we've said enough. With that being said, from Art Sideshow, Happy Halloween. Just come my way wherever I go hard luck is dead in state Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always a coming my way Just